Hey bitches, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting here once again for a mukbang with the love of my life. How are you doing? I'm good. I am so hungry right now, like you have no idea. I'm not really all that hungry. I had my little Kellogg, I'm starving, bitch. Face tree this morning. Mm. And that my burnt. mouth is watery. Okay, so this time we got McAllister's Deli. I got the King Club. This is so good. This reminds me of being at the Bellagio and getting the club sandwich by the pool. Yeah, you know what? He ordered me a club sandwich as well, but they didn't send me a club sandwich. <laughs> they sent me a salad. Salad. What would Amber Lynn Reed do? She would call and complain. This nah, is I'm telling you guys a lot. She would call and complain. <laughs> like he got me a, a, a club too. I got him the club as well. <laughs> no, I don't, a lot of people don't know that Amber Lynn Reed like reference. She was doing a mukbang one time and she pulled out like whatever food they sent her and she's like, oh my God, they sent me a club sandwich. I ordered a salad. What am I gonna do? And I only ordered one, but for some reason they gave me two. They gave me two chips, although I asked for an apple but that's okay they gave me the wrong sandwich and it came with like two small ones i don't understand it was her it's my favorite clip of amberly reed i have to say before i go any further in this video i did want to let you guys know that gerard cosmetics is having a huge sale right now on their setting sprays as well as hair af if you have been interested in checking out the gerard cosmetics setting sprays this is just a miniature version that i had upstairs they're offering 40 percent off with code nick 40 it is an affiliate code so i do get a little bit of a kickback but if you are going to check out the setting sprays finally or you are just someone that wants to restock i highly recommend checking out the dreamsicle scent because you will not be sorry like it smells that good i honestly think that that scent should be turned into a candle i believe that the code takes off like eight dollars and eighty cents making the setting sprays just over thirteen dollars the other thing that is on sale right now is hair af and they are offering 30 percent off with the code hair love you guys know that dustin swears by this he has been using this for a good long while and his hair honestly does look a lot more full i'm gonna put up a picture right here for you guys if you decide to check out the sale let me know down in the comment section but also leave a little note on your order because i'm going to be writing a little note back to you we did that the last time that gerard cosmetics was having a sale you guys were leaving us some shady notes and trust me we were being a little shady about if you've never been to las vegas specifically bellagio and had their room service mm -hmm. they make the best club and this McAllister club is the closest thing to that it's so good the only thing missing is the uh, french fries Mm. Those french fries. Oh, and the French onion soup. Mm -hmm. That French onion soup is bomb. I also got some Miss Vicky's jalapeno chips. Oh my God, I'm like shaking. You know my blood sugar's low. <laughs> you need my <laughs> sandwich. I don't like Miss Vicky's. I don't oh, I love them. Those are hard. And of course I got myself. I'm one of those people when it comes to broccoli cheddar soup, I love broccoli mm -hmm. cheddar soup. Same. However, I always feel like after I eat it, maybe my stomach's like a little upset. I can't really try much to show you guys. That's only like the Panera broccoli cheddar. I've never had it from McAllister, so. You don't want a burrito taco like James Taro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I the square was so pretty. Mm, I need to just have a burrito taco up into my bussy. Subway was my first job, and I used to eat the soup all the time. Mm -hmm. Girl, you want to know an insider secret? It's Campbell's soup. I believe it. It is. It, well, it was when I worked there like 20 years ago. 20 years ago, damn, I'm old. Me squinting in the background like Ariana Grande <laughs> trying to make sure it's in focus because I can't see shit, but y'all, I, I am a candidate for LASIK, but I had the appointment to go and get it done, and I canceled it. My mom was going to take me. That's how long ago I had the appointment. Damn. My mom was going to take me to it, and I woke up that morning. I was like, nope. After I made the mistake of watching a YouTube video of someone having complications. My, you know my um, cousin Keisha? Mm -hmm. Her sister, Deborah had uh, LASIK done several years ago, and her retina started detached. Mm -mm. Like, they thought that she was going to go blind in one of her eyes. That's why I've always, like, been really scared of that. People are going to come for me because you guys know I'm on this diet, and they're like, they're going to be like, how is he eating all this shit every day? I count every calorie. That's how. Sit outside for a very long time. Yeah. And just sweat it all out. I had people pay to abide in my sanity yet. A lot of people were asking in the comment section, where I bought these cups from. And I got these at Costco, actually. They came in at eight. It looked eight or a 10 pack, but they're 32 ounces. I don't know if you can get these on Amazon. I did look and I saw like one, but I couldn't find a pack and I couldn't find from the same brand, so. Did you see? And that was you that was watching the TikTok. There was a lady in her family that went to the beach, I think, in Florida, and she drank like four 16 ounce bottles of water, like banged them back, and it killed her. This mother of two just died from drinking too much water. 35 year old Ashley Summers, apparently overwhelmed her body while trying to hydrate in the summer heat. It was a hot summer day and Ashley told her family she felt like she was suffering from dehydration. So she did what most people would do. She grabbed a couple bottles of water consuming four 16 ounce bottles in just 20 minutes. Ashley's brother Devon says she soon began feeling sick. She had her head in her hands the whole way home because she just felt so dizzy. 
and they got home she started to walk across the garage to go into the house and uh, she passed out and never regain consciousness after that. My sister actually got put in the hospital for that one time because it f***s up your like um, salt levels in your body and your body can't like your kidneys f*** up or something. I'm surprised something like that hasn't happened to me. You see how I drink water. The video I'm about to record is about Patrick Starr. For you guys that don't know, I am so sick of him and James Charles acting as if Beyonce is endorsing their product. <laughs> Beyonce is wearing Until Dawn setting spray. So her makeup artist Raquel, who I've known for years, is her makeup artist on tour. And last night in the concert, it rained, and he texted me today at 2.14 p.m., one size spray come through. And I was like, what? Let me show you the video. Do you see it is legit raining at her concert? And I'm going to show you what he captioned on his Instagram. You see it says Washington, D.C., night two. Oh my gosh, and it says right here, built for the elements, rain or shine, B did her thing. At Beyonce, shout out to Neil on the hair. This is where, this is where I'm dying right now. It says, Patrick Starr, I love you. Your spray helped us get through the show at one size. <gasps> Oh, and also, guys, I said, bitch, do you need more or what? He goes, I have enough to get me to Vegas. Can you bring me some there? Yes. And he goes, the dancers love it, too. And I said, say less. So I guess I'm going to Vegas. Okay, don't mind my hair right now because I'm editing this video, but I just showed you guys the clip where Patrick was showing what Beyonce's makeup artist put on his Instagram. I went to go get a screenshot of that so I could put it up in my video, and everything about Patrick Star in one size has been removed from that caption. So it's giving uh, maybe Beyonce and her team are a little upset, like, where the f is our money? Like, it's one thing if Beyonce were to put that shit on her face and say, hey, Patrick Starr gave me this, but Let's talk about that a makeup quick. artist. Let's talk about this real quick because James Charles was the first one to say that Beyonce was using his great paints on her tour. Yep. Now, they both know, Patrick and James both know this makeup artist that is doing everything for Beyonce. Mm -hmm. Something that I found very interesting though is when Patrick said that Beyonce was using his uh, setting spray on stage and it was raining outside and nothing was happening to it, he showed the Instagram post and it was actually tagged underneath it and the guy gave him a shout out. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go to the picture that James showed of Beyonce wearing these Create Paint, you don't see nothing about painted and you definitely don't see nothing about James Charles. Well, here's my problem even with what Patrick's doing, okay? Think about it this way. They're using Beyonce's name and her likeness literally without her acknowledging it. So to me, it's almost as if she's an unpaid model. They're using her clout, her fame, and her success to sell their products, and they're not paying her for that. Not even that, though. Imagine Beyonce finds out, like, who James Charles is. Well, I mean, girl, someone's getting fired. Illuminati. No. <laughs> James Charles is not in the Illuminati. <laughs> I'm bitch, I'm not talking to James Charles. I'm talking about, uh... <laughs> you know what? James Charles might be able to get to the Illuminati because they have to do things to kids. That reminds me of that TikTok that I found yesterday and posted mm -hmm. this guy. He has like 3 million followers. He said, you know, I really thought that James Charles missed the mark because I thought he was going to come out with like a uh, hairspray, combs, and brushes, you know, like grooming tool. Deodorant. Deodorant. Oh yeah, for armpit hair. <laughs> I'm like really not that hungry right now for some reason. You know what? The past few days when I have been ordering the food, I'm eating this and it's... I'm almost full. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't literally, I, honestly, I don't know how people do it when they sit on camera like Nick and Kato and just shovel it in. I've had not even a whole sandwich, not even a whole sandwich. Mm -hmm. Now, I do want to bite of this salad, but I don't want to like make it and Why don't you put out. some on your fork and then dip it in the dressing? Something I saw going on over on TikTok, you know how we were calling people out for the Sheen brand trip and because mm -hmm. they were literally over in the factory and they were saying that it's like the most amazing place, like that kind of thing. Now, She Glam, you guys know She Glam, which is another company of Sheen or Shein, however the you say it. Yeah. They are having a brand trip right now and they are flying influencers out. So my question is, if we are holding these other influencers accountable for going to the factory for the clothing brand, are we gonna do the exact same thing for the people that are pushing their makes us? We should. How is that shit made? What kind of factory is that in? Imagine back in the day if somebody put Beyonce or any other A-list celebrity Mm -hmm. as like an endorsement when they weren't really endorsing it. It's the f***ing makeup artist. Mm -hmm. Has nothing to do with Beyonce. She probably don't even know what she's putting on. They're putting on her face. You know what I'm saying? In James' original video where he was talking about it, when he said that these are, he said these are celeb, and he paused. Now, I can't find this clip. I don't know if it's been deleted, but he paused and then said makeup artist. So he wanted people to believe that celebrities are behind this, like Avril Lavigne, BB Rexa, and all that. The next one that needs to find Jesus is Jacqueline. Oh, Jacqueline yes. found Jesus. She opened a church. Oh, a church. What do people do that for? 
I wonder. And since we're talking about Jacqueline, we have to talk about her video once again, where she was closing all of her brands. Because one of the main lies that people were picking up on in it, she claimed what? She was closing the two brands. She was closing the two brands. She doesn't know the future of Jacqueline <laughs> Cosmetics. Like, everyone thought that she was saying that Jacqueline Cosmetics isn't going to close and she just doesn't know the future of it. Girl. I took that as she doesn't know the future because they're not renewing her contract and no. nothing is going to happen with it right now. So maybe in the future, she will revisit the idea and do something for Jacqueline Cosmetics. That's how I took it. But other people took it the other way. I really just did the bare minimum and I was given such an incredible opportunity to be in Ulta stores. And I've done the bare minimum supporting my brand in Ulta, which is crazy because that's literally my dream. I could just cry over this. Like I remember working at the Mac store, all right? And this is when I was physically on food stamps. And during my lunch break at Mac, I would walk upstairs in the Chicago Woodfield Mall and I would go into the Ulta store and I'll just walk around and stare. And I remember feeling like always slightly embarrassed because like the sales girls would be like, can I help you? And I'd be like, oh no, it's okay. Cause I did not have a dollar to spend on makeup, but I'll just walk around and swatch stuff and just like dream about like being able to own these things. And I've talked about this. I talked about this like eight years ago on my YouTube channel. And just to then fast forward and have my own Jaclyn Cosmetics in Ulta stores, like talk about Whew. Over on Twitter, I saw that Jen Loves, I wonder why Jen Loves hasn't changed her Twitter from Jen Loves Reviews to just Jen Loves or something, because I think she changed it on YouTube. She said, my subscribers are telling me that there was never an Ulta in Woodfield Mall when Jacqueline would have been working at Matt when she was at the counter in Nordstrom. If this is true, this is further proof that Jacqueline could easily lie and get emotional about something that she simply made up. Her. So I responded, I responded, and I think that Jacqueline was telling the truth because this must have been at the same mall where Jacqueline was almost snatched into that car by those two men on that very traumatic day for her to where she was so straw and all that. So of course the internet started sleuthing and they went back and they looked for f***ing Ulta. They were leaving a shit ton of comments underneath Jen Love's thing. There was no Ulta when Jacqueline was saying that she was f***ing there. Somebody actually commented that they called to see. There's been an Ulta there for three f***ing years. Was Jacqueline on food stamps three years ago? You just took the words right out of my mouth. Was she ever? The whole thing with Jacqueline Gill and the food stamps has never sat right with me. For us. Okay, a lot of people don't know this because Jacqueline has done a very good job of keeping this heal uh, healed. She kept it healed. She kept it hid, right? So a lot of people don't know that Jacqueline Hill, her dad apparently got hurt in some kind of accident like many, many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. Like when she was a kid, like when we were kids, because me and Jacqueline are very close to me. And her dad won like $4 million. $4 million. Yeah. Right? But a lot of people also don't realize that Jacqueline Hill grew up on a pig farm that was 400 acres. So you're not gonna tell me somebody that grew up on a farm that was 400 acres that was passed down in the family with generational wealth that Jacqueline Hill was ever on food stamps. I don't think that her pay, like, it's close to the said her family on food stamps, y'all. When she said that, I was like, can you mentally be on them? Maybe Jacqueline, maybe Jacqueline wasn't, maybe she was buying them. People buy Listen, food stamps. I, maybe that's why she was on them. It was so funny the other day, I asked people to Photoshop Jacqueline Hill's face on a food stamp mm -hmm. and they did. Yeah, back when it was like the coupon food yeah. stamp. There is nothing wrong with being on food stamps, no. but there is everything wrong to lie that you were pummered and that you had to be on food stamps because of it to tug on your audience's heartstrings, like, bitch. Food stamps yeah. are for a reason. People need them. There's no, nothing wrong with getting Apparently, food a food lot stamps. of these, apparently a lot of these influencers lie about coming from like poverty. Like that Tame Bee Boop that we've been talking about in this channel. <laughs> she lied, apparently. She is a beach house. Her parents were judges. She grew up at a private school with a silver spoon in her f***ing mouth. And you're gonna tell people you came from poverty, bitch? Listen. No. Bullshit transparency my parents worked and then my dad when i was like in second or third grade he had a really bad car accident and he broke his back and he had to retire and my mom had to like retire too to take care of him there was a point in time when my parents got food stamps there's nothing oh, i know again my parents did yeah my parents did and i remember going down to the food bank to get some food as well oh yeah my parents yep. used to go get the cheese and the peanut yep. butter i did however i will say this though about the private school thing i did go to private school up until sixth grade when i got kicked out of the christian academy because my grandparents were paying for that that's something they wanted to make sure but every, everything else because we were broke mm -hmm. my mother we had a minivan okay this is so embarrassing y'all we had a minivan and it was one of those dodge caravans and the air conditioning broke in it Bro we had no money to go get us no daily air conditioning so my mom would open that side door and those back windows that would come out and we would just drive on down the road <laughs> my God. Like, i'm not talking about just through the neighborhood bitch she would go down some roads yeah. like main roads like please don't recognize us dear god it pisses me off when somebody like jacqueline says that and they downplay like the series of the struggles that people go through because that's not just something you like say to be relatable. Like you either were on food stamps or you were physically. physically. physically.
Physically on food stamps. Physically on the food stamps. She meant literally, uh -huh. I think. But the echo she said physically is just like so funny to me. Listen to this. Jacqueline Hill tried to play that off as if her brands, like she was getting rid of them because she couldn't handle it mentally anymore. We know the reason why those brands are not doing well. They just aren't selling. Well, she did the bare minimum. Thank you, Jacqueline Hill, for the soundbite of you doing the bare minimum, confirming what we've been saying for months when you were trying to say that we were liar and your brands weren't closing down bitch. Isn't that funny? Everything that Jacqueline Hill says that we come on and we lie about has all turned out to be true. I'm like full. I am too. I girl. honestly feel like I'm full and I haven't even really touched my sandwich. It'll be good later. Yeah. It'll be very good later when we're elevated, but. We're ter- like, listen, we have a refrigerator on every floor. Yeah. I feel like this is how mukbang should be done though. Like you sit there and you just eat lunch like a normal person. I saw this clip of Nikocado that is over on TikTok. It's going around again. People are saying that Nikocado is starting to like actually take care of himself. But I, I hope he does. Over on TikTok, I haven't seen anything uploaded recently from him, like in the past week. I don't know, but this clip that I saw, it was mountains of food being thrown into a blender, the drink being put in the blender too, to like drink it back like this. It's f disgusting. Her. If Eugenia needs to be removed for that situation That's that right she here. has going on over there. Nikocado and everyone else that there. glorifies overeating like that needs to be as well. It's because people say, people, I saw someone comment back and say, nobody is looking at Nikocado saying, I want to achieve that body, but they're looking at the Eugenia and they're saying that to her. That's not true because there's actually a fetish where people eat. And I have seen guys that are fit. What are they called? Fit as like, you could tell that they've been working out for years. All of a sudden they get into Fear. fetish and now they're like, 500 pounds and i'm not, not like girl you do you i'm not fetish shaming at all but it's not for me listen to me in eugenia like eugenia follows me i've never interacted with her i think she's a sweet girl i think she's nice but like to me nikocado and uh eugenia are on the same spectrum just totally different ends here's right if people don't have an issue with nikocado and they have an issue with eugenia why if you don't have an issue with eugenia and you have an uh, issue with nikocado why it's the same thing just different scenario i had some people comment underneath and someone said this to me on twitter as well like they were like why don't you just leave eugenia alone your words can be very harmful to her and i was like you know what else is harmful not saying anything and co-signing her disgusting behavior because what this well, this is what's going to happen when eugenia dies the conversation is going to switch to why did no one try to help her and, and at the end of the day i'm not going to be on the side with the people that are supporting her i'm going to be on the side that actually stood up and said something well you know what it is you have people like rich lux that always goes live and the word on the street is that he's wanting to do a podcast with her so he's enabling her we have people like jeffree star that jeffree go live with her every single day all right guys i know that we did not really eat that much in this mukbang so we can't really call it that but thank you <laughs> for having a little bit of lunch with us <laughs> a little bit of dinner whatever i had smidgen and we will see you guys all in our next video